Okay. Well, we are going to dive into 2024 and C2A uneven bars. Um, the first thing we're going to quickly go over are the special requirements. There is a minimum of two bar changes, uh, two flight elements, a minimum of two different Cs, or a B and a D, but they do not include the dismount. One element with a LA turn, a minimum of a C, and again, not to include the mount or the dismount on this one, and a minimum of a C salto. If they're going to do a C dismount immediately preceded by the same two A or B elements, the deduction would be 0.1 from the start value. And a reminder on this, that one skill may fulfill more than one special requirement. We're going to look at the bonus principles. A C and a C, C plus C, is going to be a one-tenth connective value. Both C elements must have turn or flight. Or you could do it with two different group three, six, or seven elements. A lot of times you'll see a toe on, toe off into maybe a toe front dismount or a toe front dismount with a half. And your brain says, oh, that's a, a three, six, seven. Um, reminder that uh, dismounts are group eight. So there is no connective value if you put those two C skills together. A C plus a D is going to get you plus one in the connective value. And then that C element connected to the D is not going to require a flight or a turn. And then your two D elements is going to get you two tenths in connective value. And I put a little asterisk below. Uh, this is not connective value, but just to keep in mind that any E release element or single bar D release element will receive an additional plus one in difficulty bonus. So make sure that when you are adding up your bonus that that goes into the difficulty category. Compositional deductions, we're going to start with the up to the level. They're defined as a single bar release with a minimum D value or a release element valued as an E or minimum two D releases or a minimum of two E elements, not to include the dismount. So one of those has to be fulfilled and a minimum of a D dismount or a C dismount with connective value. The other compositional deductions that we're going to look at is a lack of variety in choice of elements or connection is a possible 0.05. Insufficient distribution of elements, 0.05. And I do want to make one comment about that because I feel like this is a difficult one to apply to some of the collegiate routines that we see. This The routines are pretty short and generally the athletes are at least uh, dismounting with the C. And if they're not, uh, probably some other things went awry. <laughs> if they just end up doing a layout, they would have special requirement issues up to the level, possible bonus issues. So I think that one is probably going to be a little bit difficult to apply to some of the collegiate routines that we see, but it, it could happen if, if it was warranted. More than one squat stoop on the low bar with or without a sole circle is 0.1. Uh, the exception would be that there's no deduction if you're going to resume the routine following a fall. If the athlete did a glide kip squat on after a fall, we would not count that 0.1. An uncharacteristic element, 0.1. And then same thing with the uh, three-quarter giant circle forward. It's just a word about handstands and the deduction in a handstand. A reminder that if you're going to give a, a B value part to a cast handstand, the most you can take on the angle is 0.05. So a lot of times we'll give it a B and maybe try to take one on the angle. Um, there is no one-tenth on the angle for that. It's only 0.05. There's other issues. It could be body position. It could be bent arms, legs, things like that. Um, but as far as an angle, if you're going to award that a B value part, um, the most that you can take on that angle is 